Welcome back to the channel. Today we give the old uh, power wagon, or as I've named it, the he shed. Let's give this thing some more balls. We're gonna put in a pulsar. <laughs> Greatly improves overall performance and throttle response. Features multiple on-the-fly adjustable power levels. Pulsar. Inline performance module. What's in the box? Why is this upside down? Piece of What's in the box? Let's see. Oh man, here it is, right here. We just plug this in? No. All right. Oh man, it's pulsing already. I can feel it pulsing in my hand. The Pulsar. So that's the, the front of it there. That's the back. And this is the 6.4 liter Hammy version. So uh, let's set that there. What else do we get? Oh, we get some bolts. Pretty cool. Now well, let's see here. Uh, you get this. Uh, Nope, that's just a piece of cardboard. Okay, so we get the bolts. Uh, Ram Hemi. Ooh, all right. This is what I was looking for right here. So you put that on, it's got its number and all that stuff. And you put this on and it tells you your power levels. Right there. So you can tell where that is, what that is. So I'm going to put these on right now. Okay, those are done. All right. Let's see. Attention, vehicle owner. Um, yep. Don't live in California, so that's good. Uh, disconnect the battery. Negative cable. Locate the ECM. Uh, plug it in. Uh, tighten it down. 10 millimeter screw. That's what we needed to know. Uh, push it in. Lock it down. Uh, install the bolts, reconnect it, and hit the gas. All right, let's do that. Locate ECU. There it is. Cool, cool. All right, well, let's pull it apart. Looks like we got uh, uh, maybe four bolts. Well, nope. One, two, three. There's three bolts in here, two on this side, one over here. Get those done, pop these off, put that one back on, put these back on, bolt it back down, and we'll go from there. But let's disconnect the battery first. So I got this bolt in down here on that end. <laughs> Trying to get one in over here. But if we look, now that I got it in, whoa, I am real close here. Now that we got it installed, you can't <clears throat> can't really get her to line back up because these here are hitting on your air conditioning lines. So I'm gonna make a little bracket to go from there to here, so I can bolt this baby back down. Check this out. works I got it bolted up here going around here it's not touching it 
I just got to get a smaller bolt for right here and we're good to go. I can tighten this thing up and it won't go nowhere. Pretty neat, huh? Well, if I, uh, if anybody sees this and wants one of them, email me at mydestroyer1320 at gmail.com. I'm going to refine this one and make it a little better, but I just wanted to get something in there for now. So it's all buttoned up. This thing is breaking tight. A little handy bracket worked out all right. Got the uh, battery back on. Let's go ahead and... All right. Oh, my goodness. It's a hundred and yuck out. Whew. Uh, this tells you how warm the truck thinks it is right now. Wow, it's hot. Uh, let's see here. So, uh, function, up, down, select. Okay, yeah, read your instructions on setting that thing up. I had to set it for my tires and my axle and lots of fun stuff. I wasn't going to bore you with it. But once you've got it hooked up, hit cancel, and it'll tell us what mode we're in right here at the top. And if I want to change the mode, I press uh, reset or set. So I can go back to stock, stock with MDS, economy, Economy MDS, tow, tow with MDS off, performance. Let's, let's just try that one. I think that one looks just fine. Okay, so that's all I do. Put it on there. Let's go test this thing. All right, let's see. Uh, I just, yeah, wow. You barely touch it and this thing leaps. I've not even, I've not even given it gas yet. Wow, what an amazing difference. Holy cow, it actually feels like it's got a 6.4 in it. After driving my 1320, I got in this truck like, what a turd. Woo, Jesus. This thing is, wow. That thing is rowdy. Holy bananas. I think this thing will almost spin the tires. Good Lord. Yeah, that takes a minute to get used to. That's a, that's a major difference, fellas. Major difference. Now, I do have it in perf like the best mode I could have it or the most different mode from stock, and that's what I wanted to see if it was a, you know, is it a gimmick? Now, power-wise, I don't know if it's power, but delay from accelerator, holy poop. Yes, it definitely helps, and it's not just a delay box because, like I said, I did change the uh, settings for the tires. There's another fellow Ram guy. Hey, buddy. And uh, I was able to set the gear ratio so it knows what size tires and what gear. And uh, I'll have to take this thing out on the highway to see anything else. I gotta mail off some of those plates, the uh, neutral release covers I invented. Yeah, we gotta mail some of those out. And uh, I'm gonna perfect that other plate that I made for this little uh, installation. And if you guys want that, like I said, get a hold of me, mydestroyer1320 at gmail.com. I'm gonna go take this thing on the road, give me a second. Wow, so far, major difference, and I just turned on a little road to see what it would do, but yeah, I'm barely touching it, and this thing just rips. Oh yeah, baby, go. Now, it's not a rocket ship by any means, because it's a big-ass truck, but it's way, way better. It's not the laggy turd I thought it was, so yeehaw, I am so extremely happy. Yeah, I'm saying if you you know are changing stuff, doing tires, doing all kinds of things, get yourself that Pulsar. It's pretty sweet. It did add a difference. I mean, like I said, I didn't like this after I had the 35s on. I'm like, this thing's a turd. So if you want to wake up your truck, grab a Pulsar, and uh, yeah, man, try it out for yourself. Let me know what you think. I will see you guys in the next one.